Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I made a video, practically almost a year. Uh, I'm not dead, I've just uh, been a little tad busy. So, uh, in the past year I've been gaining some uh, more knowledge and a few more items as you can see here. Um, remember when I said watch in my first video, or one of my uh, earlier videos, uh, What is the Bob, about garage sales and stuff? Well, as well as some closeout uh, type things, and if there was anybody who I've commented on uh, in the past, like watch your garage sales, um, go uh, look out for uh, end of the year closeout type stuff. Here's two examples. Right here, this is a Hunter's. Uh, you might consider a dry sack, but uh, Walmart considered this as a scent proof sack it's it's basically a dry bag you just open her up stick your stuff inside roll this up a couple of times and if I can do this one-handed bear with me here oh come on don't you just hate it when things don't cooperate like they expected Okay, snap that, and uh, you got your stuff sealed up dry, nice and dry. This is out of my get home bag. This is called a Max Sack. Let me try and get this in frame. Basically, this part right here, that's a one-way valve. Um, this is my, my extra clothes. This is in a mini dry bag. Um, as you can see, it's rolled up. Um, you kind of roll it up squeeze all the air out and it keeps it nice and dry this is a much much bigger one Let's see if I can get it all in frame here yeah buddy this is for the Marine Corps this is a sea line or seal line uh, basically uh, you can easily either, either use it for a couple of things it's like here it is ILBE waterproofing bag for a salt pack okay um, you put your stuff in it. This will hold easily the sleep system carry. Granted, it's it's, it's flat, so once it uh, you open her up, you roll it a couple of times, just like on that. You squeeze, you uh, open this uh, valve, you squeeze the air out, and you turn it to lock it, and it stays nice and tight. So that. The Marine Corps bag or dry bag I picked up at my local uh, surplus store for about six bucks. This I paid like three dollars. Normally it's at least twice that. Speaking of other deals, Wally World, nice Stanley water bottle, stainless steel. Originally it was five dollars. I picked it up for a buck. Nice. Um, garage sales. Um, there was a uh, retired nurse. She had a garage sale. She sold her stethoscope. Normally, I think I paid like two bucks for this. And this I picked up as well. This is a, what do you call it? Spig, sp uh, spigmometer? Whatever the hell it's called. Um, I call it blood pressure cuff. You know, you just squeeze the bulb. This is what your doctor has to test for blood pressure. Um, I did remember, I remembered how to do it. I gotta get retrained. Medical stuff, you must always try and keep up on those skills. Speaking of medical, these are true N95 masks after the Ebola breakout uh, last year. Uh, that kind of got me a little concerned because. The masks that I had in my uh, medical kit um, just weren't rated for uh, viruses and stuff. So these are true N95 masks. Um, I already dispersed these around. These are what's left in the box, so what have you. Also, uh, Cabela's. If you live near one, they're start of the hunting season. These, uh, the wool socks, definitely a must. Especially if you live in clo uh, colder climates like I do. These are the heavyweights. Um, 
these are uh, merino wool these are mid weights for more for summer and if you get the slightly imperfect um, these they'll save you a ton of they'll save you a lot of money I can't remember how much these cost originally I think they're like 25 30 bucks originally I picked them up on sale at the beginning of the season for like 15 so you're saving some money there the slightly imperfect that's bargain bin stuff so if they were uh, regularly priced in, on the shelf they were going to be um, almost as much as these well slightly more expensive I think I paid like five bucks for these you know these are uh, mid weights more for for summer these are not wool these are um, synthetic material cotton if you live in hot dry environments cotton would be best but if you live where the temperature varies quite a bit uh, you need moisture wicking so uh, this is a survival blanket for my car um, fortunately I haven't I never used it so that was going into my car emergency kit this is a uh, Eton smaller radio this is for AM FM uh, weather band and it has the flashlight little solar panel little car chart a uh, little a USB charger to charge your cell phone and it also has the weather yeah so I can either charge it by the solar panel or use the crank to charge it and I also use that to charge any kind of electronic device like a cell phone radio what ha uh, iPod whatever uh, because my packs are military surplus or yeah most of them all of them are uh, I get pack covers just in case there's how should I put this just in case there's some idiots out there oh he's got a military bag he must got some good stuff and there's that type of uh, philosophy or if there's a um, it depends on the situation I just don't want to get into conspiracy theories but this also this protects your pack from the rain from the elements and also if you have like say a bright colored backpack let me get down a little bit if you have like say a bright colored backpack um, and you want to help conceal yourself get something in like if you're in a wooded area like I do get like the olive drab or even black um, they can be a little pricey if you get military surplus bags like I do the military uses cubic inches these use liters like this is a 25 liter cover this is a 45 liter cover and I also got a 100 liter cover for my big rucksack my true my first bug out bag or inch bag only because the I didn't do the math right math the math and me are kinda at odds so um, the 100 liter I picked up first then I got the 45 or then I got the 25 for my smaller bag uh, because I practically gave up on that huge uh, rucksack as my bug out bag because it's just too freaking huge man so that one is a tad too small that is kinda medium that would work well with the uh, my get home bag uh, speaking of other sales this is an Eton rechargeable pattern battery with hand crank power basically if your cell phone if you have one of these even the larger one this may not work all the time what I mean by this is some cell phones require a higher voltage than what these things put out this is kinda helps fill in the gap here's a crank there's a crank on here and basically you crank it to recharge the battery and as you can see it I haven't opened it yet I haven't given a shot uh, given a trial run yet but originally 60 bucks I paid 18 because it was on clearance yes nice so yeah um, this is one of the first few videos I'll be doing after this one uh, to kind of give my take on this as well as a demonstration on how these 
radios work. I have my, this is, I recently picked this one up to replace the bigger one, and this one stays out in my car. Uh, going back to medical, a soft shell splint. I had to pull this out of my medical kit. Um, if you need to immobilize a an arm, wrist, or an ankle, this is what you would do. But if you're out in the woods and if you're kind of if you're a Boy Scout, Cub Scout, Girl Scout, you can use sticks um, as long as you kind of remove most of the uh, remove the bark on the sticks. And you can do it that way. But that's a lot more comfortable, believe me. Uh, second to last thing here is leg gaiters. Let me stand this up, move back. Yeah. Basically, these you put on your shoes or your boots to protect your pant legs if you're in, say, if you do a lot of walking in uh, grasslands, you have those like little thistles that stick to your uh, uh, pants and also shoelaces um, or the, for me better yet these keep my pant legs nice and dry when I'm plowing snow and I had a pair last year uh, for the snow for the snow that hit I used some old Swiss military and they were good but they they were too small apparently Europeans are a tad smaller than Americans and the straps were this laminated uh, uh, vinyl, if you will. Uh, I mean, I mean, it was very well made. Uh, the the material itself on the uh, Swiss ones were like a uh, waterproofed wool. Man, those things were nice and warm. But the straps, after two or three times using them, uh, basically disintegrated because of the age. I assume those were probably made back in the 1980s, and dry rot happens, you know. Um, getting to these, this is nylon, Velcro, and this is like a uh, rubberized silicone. Um, so far it did the job. Unfortunately, they're a tad too small for me. So I will kind of give these to a friend of mine who has uh, smaller legs than I do, and because uh, he was saying, you know, those are those look pretty great, man. So, uh, last thing. These I picked up at a county fair. Um, one thing to do uh, with this crazy economy right now is to help support local vendors. Um, if you are into organic foods, uh, without organic foods, those are foods without pesticides, fertilizers, what have you. Uh, organically grown or close to organically grown is better, is healthier for you. Also, if you have artisans like, uh, say, uh, if you want to buy honey, buy honey for local. You know, a lot of, I mean, 99.99%, those get local people will not add high fructose corn syrup to the honey like some manufacturers will do. But the byproduct of making honey is beeswax. And that's what these are. These are beeswax candles. Uh, I picked these up for emergency purposes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I picked up like five candles. I basically bought them out. Um, at the county fairs, you get some yahoos that think, Oh, wow, they're candles. Wait, these don't have any scent. Well, beeswax have a beeswax scent. You know, they're not going to smell like Yankee Candle, where it's going to smell like potpourri, uh, fresh pine, uh, what have you. These are candles, plain and simple. Uh, if you have, like, say, a uh, beeswax is awesome um, when lit. Granted, they will smell, not in a good way, they won't stink either, but they have a distinctive smell of uh, something burning, okay? That's to help you. There's several reasons why beeswax candles are better. Uh, one for the smell, so you can tell. Oh wow, we got a candle lit. Okay, make sure it's put out before you go to bed if you have to use them. Uh, two, Main Prepper did a video some time back, um, or I think it was Main Prepper. Um, the beeswax is does not give off any real uh, any really toxic chemicals 
when it's burning. Now your tea light candles, those are oh um, paraffin wax. Those are more of a petroleum. Those will give off toxic chemicals as they are burning. Um, beeswax does not give off uh, as many chemicals as they are being burnt um, because it's natural, 100% natural. Also, if you take, some, if you have like a sticky zipper on a uh, backpack or what have you, um, take the wax and just rub it along the zipper. Simple as that, and it helps lubricate the zipper. So, that is basically just a small fraction of what I've been doing this past year. Uh, like I said, sorry folks, it took me so long to make this video, um, and for being so long-winded, but I, I've been busy. I have been let resting on my laurels, so uh, um, keep in touch, uh, keep tuned in. Uh, right there, that's going to be first off as a demonstration. I have other videos in the works, kind of like um, simple videos of, of my thoughts. So it's going to take me some time, but hey, you know, good things happen to those who wait. Have a good one.